Hello my soccer universe, it's my birthday today, well not quite, uh, it's my birthday when this video posts, but today as I'm shooting the video is not my birthday, uh, because on my birthday I'm in Venice, the girls have fall break uh, and so we decided to take a little trip, and in addition uh, since I have a few really nice jerseys coming already for the last two months of this year, I'm not even intending to get any jerseys for my birthday. However, knowing myself, I might get tempted, but I try to be a good guy this time around. In any case, I decided for my birthday, I finally fulfill a request from a comment a long time ago on my museum jerseys. Uh, can I show you my museum jerseys? But before that, I need to define what are my museum jerseys. Well, my museum jerseys, first of all, are really nice shirts, but um, I actually think I, it's probably more apt to call them my retired jerseys. I tend to wear my jerseys. Uh, but you know that if you wear jerseys very often, there will be some wear and tear, which namely applies to name sets. So per se, I usually um, refrain from wearing too many jerseys with na name sets. Also having so many jerseys that I have at the moment, the chances of them getting repeatedly worn, the names that varying off, is probably uh, very, very limited. So I can wear this uh, Fagioli Venezia jersey uh, that I acquired. So I decided here to show you a few jerseys that I am not wearing anymore, that I keep reserved. I say these are very special jer jerseys that I uh, just either want to keep in good shape or want to prevent from really getting in a worse shape than they already are because they're near and dear to my heart. Some of them are hanging in my office. I watch them every day because I absolutely love them. Others I have safely stowed away and you know may display here and there and the, uh, in the background of my videos. And I want to do club jerseys first, and then we look at some national team jerseys, which is a, probably a little bit of a larger junk. The club jerseys, of course, reflect more or less my favorite, my favorite teams in Lask and Milan, but I added another team in there as well, because uh, it's another really special one. I would say enough of the preamble. I expect it to be a little bit of a longer video, so sit back, relax, and uh, let's see some jerseys that are near and dear to Tomat that I really, really enjoy. There may come a second part sooner or later. And the first jersey I'm gonna show you is the only match worn jersey that I have where actually, and let me move a little bit uh, to, to the side. This is an actual match worn jersey for multiple matches. It's a Lask away jersey from the 98 fall part of the season because they switched in mid season. Um, and I have seen this jersey being worn by that player already. The player being of course, Peter Pavlovsky, who I really liked at that time. He unfortunately didn't make it much. He was a young uh, guy. I have actually worn this jersey a little bit, but not too, too much. It's still the, an old flock number. So you see there's a little bit wear here, but overall, I don't want to wear it anymore. There's some really nice details on that, but that's for a separate video for this one. But yeah, this is but the one where I know for sure this has been match worn. So this will always have a special place in my collection. Next up is a jersey that I bought recently. Uh, it's also a rare second division jer jersey, but when I bought it with the explicit purpose of not wearing it, because it is basically the, almost the perfect jersey for what I want. It's also a Lusk jersey. It's from the 2006-2007 season when they won the second league. So we have here um, Erste Liga, which means first league, but you know, like uh, the Bundesliga, Erste Liga, and, and so on. I think meanwhile it's called again Zweite Liga. So you have that patch here, you have Upper Austria, you have the old Lask logo. I really, this is one of my favorite Lask shirts when they had Umbro, because I really like this uh, little red accents here. We have also the Red Sack logo, which is an electronics car company, which is, if you see, uh, a, bit, a little bit of a rough shape. So this is one reason why I don't want to wear it all that much, but the other one, is the name that Ivi Zavastic was our star at that point. He actually made it back to the national team, team uh, just being in the second league. But you already see that this name set is so finicky. It's golden, it's nice, but it has some holes. So I really want to preserve that. And to show you what happens, I have the consequent season when they weren't in the Bond Bulls League as a jersey. I don't like all that much, although uh, I also really tired it. But I've worn this one a lot and this is what happens when you wash this stuff. 
it's something I would like to have somewhat repaired. I just don't know how. So in order to avoid this, this Lask 06 or 07 jersey is a museum piece meanwhile. We're done with Lask, we're going now to Milan and like this Lask jersey that is hanging in my office, the next one is also hang, hanging in my office. It's probably the most expensive jersey that I've ever bought, although there will soon come one kind of similar in price. However, it's the Milan Centenary jersey. Uh, I intend to keep it in good condition and I have it here on my wall, it's hanging. Uh, I sometimes take it off, give it, you know, a gentle hand wash or so on. It's just a, such an awesome jersey that, you know, I rewarded myself last year when I got the thousand subscribers. Uh, absolutely brilliant jersey and so it's one of my most prized jerseys in my collection. However, there are a few other retired Milan jerseys that I have. Uh, I have more modern ones, but I'm going to stick with, with the older ones. Uh, the day Milan won the Champions League in 2003, the day after I went to, to the Milan store, I wanted to order the white one, they didn't have it. I ordered the black one, uh, and this was just before I went to America. This got a lot of mileage because I had it also already printed with Maldini. Uh, and I have to say the name set was quite sturdy and yes, it's not the original with all the holes, blah, blah, blah. But this is what came directly from the Milan store this way. Um, the name set held up quite nicely. However, a lot of 10, 12, 13 years later, the M and so on started to come off. The, uh, the number started to peel a little bit. So I did my trick with ironing over. And since then, I'm not wearing this one anymore. Uh, it is... I have to say, I never liked necessarily the template by Adidas, but it's one of my favorite black Milan jerseys. So, another retired one. And sticking with Maldini, prior to the centenary jersey hanging up on the wall, I had this jersey that also was worn a lot. I ordered it, uh, I think, shortly after Maldini retired or had his last game. They had in the Milan store this jer jersey. I was about to travel to Austria, so I had a chip to Austria as well. And yeah, yeah, I love this jersey. Even though I find the white collar uh, at, at the time I found it a little, little bit odd and maybe the black sleeve, but I really love this jersey. But you can already see here on the inside tag, I've worn this jersey quite some. So this one is not in best condition. If you look at the sponsor, uh, it's also not in the best condition. And unfortunately, the Maldini on the back yeah, has already some tears and I'm not sure if this ever can be repaired. Uh, if at one point there comes the opportunity to repair this one, I would love to, to do it for now. It's a retired jersey. Uh, it's an absolute... I love this jersey. Simply because of the patch, but you know, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very classic Milan jersey per se as well. It just is not hanging on my wall anymore, but it's safely stowed away. We're done with the Milan portion. I told it as another club team and I show you one jersey that I also retired and it's a much more recent buy. It's the 1617 Roma away jersey with Totti on the back. Uh, and it was never worn this config configuration, but I actually liked. I also have the patch of uh, Totti that the uh, uh, squadra per la vida. Yes, I tried to, after Totti's last game, to get his last jersey, like I have the last Maldini jer uh, jersey. But you could not get it at the time at the Roma store with the Totti print. Or I wanted to have this name set uh, on that jersey and not the one that they made special. So I was going back, back and forth in, in the other side. At that time, I didn't have a uh, white Roma jersey, and this is kind of an off-white. I like the Lupetto crest, not so sold on the template, it's a rather bare bones jersey, but then I said, well, if I put this patch on there, this actually makes it a little bit special. So yeah, worn it a few times, but as it was quite expensive, I had to also say, nah, maybe it's better to not wear it too often. Meanwhile, I don't wear it anymore. I have another white Roma jersey if I want it. And you know, it's remembering Totti. And the reason why I have this, and I'm just showing this is not maybe part of the official video because I have another Totti jersey from the 2002 or 3 season that I ordered right after that Maldini shirt, the black one. Uh, I got it with Totti. However, you see uh, that one is really, really beat, beaten up. 
although I think it's a really, really nice jersey. So I want to have one totally in pristine condition. Okay, let's do national teams. And I have to show you my favorite jersey. I'm not wearing it anymore, mainly because it's too small, but I also know Meanwhile, it's value that I didn't know. It was very near and dear to me. My first ever proper soccer jersey. It should have been the Austria 1990 jersey, but I only had a t-shirt. And I'm still mad that I had the chance to pick it for a really good price. And I was just a few seconds too late. In any case, this is my first ever proper jersey. It's the Italy 1990 home jersey. This is player spec. How do you know it's player spec? Blue goes to green and not uh, blue goes to red. It's gorgeous. It is still with cotton material. It's very old. Unfortunately, the crest is a little bit beaten up. Uh, fortunately, this uh, when you see my video where I try to uh, fix it, the 13 print has come off. I actually don't see it anymore. So uh, that's actually quite nice. Uh, but yeah, it's the color. My mother once washed this a little bit too warm and then the color started looking old and I maybe have to know, have another go around with an iron on this one. It's one of my favorite jerseys, what can, can I say? Of course it's a museum piece. That's also one. Beside those two, that's always hanging on my wall across here because I just love it so much. Actually, if you look now behind me, those three shirts, those are the ones that I always display in my room. It's nice. Okay. Let's go from Italy to another blue country, which of course is France. And we're talking about the 2000, 2001 France home jersey as worn in Euro 2000, where they won. The number 10 gives it away. This is Zidane. Um, you know the story. I got this one uh, from France. I ordered it with the names. It didn't have the front number. It had only the back number. Uh, but far, far, but far, funny enough, the number was actually a little bit smaller than what it is currently. Uh, and again, one of my favorite shirts. I've been wearing this one because, you know, Zidane. Unfortunately, I saw it, the number is getting bubbled up. And then I had a friend uh, with his family visiting me and his uh, daughter went over the number. And boom, suddenly there was a patch uh, there, which meant that the number was a little bit damaged. And then, yeah, I lived with it. Then my buddy Andy said he knows someone who could replace, who, who could uh, fix this and took a while, but it got fixed and it looks gorgeous. However, it was also said that I should not wear it, it should be a museum piece. The only thing is that the end doesn't look quite right. Everything else is really well done. I absolutely love it. But I know I shouldn't wear it. I will not wear it. Maybe in a video here and there I quickly pull, pull it on, but other than that, I'm gonna keep it as is. This is my favorite Zidane jersey that I have. Uh, it's also one of my favorite France jerseys. I really like that particular um, design quite a lot. Okay, there's another Zidane jersey that I have in my collection. This was really a miracle that uh, this showed up. And again, thanks to my buddy Idris for finding it in France. Uh, it's of course the 2006 away jersey worn in that particular World Cup final. And of course in the tournament before in all of the knockout games where Zidane just hit another level. He found it from a French seller for a relatively reasonable price. Um, and the print is there. The print is also, I have not worn it. It's also not super pristine, so better not wear it a whole lot, if at all. So that's what I intend to do. I have to, I have to say the um, print here is actually also more sturdy than the other ones that I have gotten from this template for other jerseys, which I find quite in interesting. Of course, I had this for a long time as a fake. I got it away as a fake, and so I'm very happy to have now the original, and the original is much, much better. So that's another definite museum piece for me. Okay, the next jersey I cannot really show you in the hanger because it's still in its original box. It's the, you can see it already, limited edition European Championship 2008. I got this uh, the day or two days after the Netherlands got eliminated from Euro 2008. I had already looked at this a little bit and at the local sports store, they said 50% off on any uh, team that got eliminated. And they had it only for the regular jersey. They said, is this also true for this one? Yes, it is. Got it for 75 euros. 
it is here and it has the limited edition tag here so i have always said i'm gonna keep this in the box now there are some video series out there where uh, my wife was always I, I should take it out of the box it should be worn but then yeah blah, 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 blah. we were kind of discussing this back and forth she wanted me to wear this dress because she said it's beautiful well we resolved it the following way i got myself the replica version in xl uh it's probably with this logo my favorite dutch uh jersey it also has a name set on there um i have rarely worn this i think i've worn it maybe once i'm not planning to wear this often i want to keep this in pristine condition uh the other reason is because the other netherlands jersey that i have um with the wesley snyder player that i never really liked all that much although i always uh, really greatly respected his talent is this 2010 uh world cup jersey where there was a Wesley Snyder I have not even worn it and I put it in in, in the wash and the entire print came off I want to kind of avoid this one with that as well but I think this print looks a whole lot more solid so um that one I probably keep in the rotation this one because this tag is already getting a little bit wrinkled up I might as well retire as well but you know it's not part of the video it's this jersey in the box that is retired so um maybe i'll put the box here okay speaking of 2010 world cup there's another jersey that i absolutely love and adore that i had to retire and it's the winning jersey from that particular world cup with the iniesta print and that's where it is the jersey itself is still in pristine condition uh, with the iniesta print if you look at it um yeah i've i literally have worn this a lot um and it got a little bit of a beating overall and you can tell there's some white shining through and so begrudgingly i said yeah this probably has to get retired another reason is i got this in an l because back when i bought this uh, i was a little bit skinnier and so l was a little bit better fitting at least according to my wife i always was more for excel but she liked me and i agree you know you agree with your wife uh because she knows better and so i was wearing this one yeah meanwhile i'm not except for a little spot up here the jersey is still in good condition i'm actually thinking um if i would see this somewhere without a print i might as well get it because uh it's one of my favorite jerseys if i see it in xl uh especially it needs to be without the star i also like the white version of this uh jersey also looks nice but the, the navy blue will always be iconic it's an awesome jersey let's face it and the last one might not have the pedigree of any of these jerseys but it's very near and dear to me i got this this is the u.s centenary jer jersey which was came out the same year as i left the states again i said this might be the perfect jersey to celebrate me be having spent 10 years in the states it's my favorite u.s jersey i like the simple white look with the navy um collar and cuffs and especially this logo here this is what the us should wear at all times would make for a much better jersey in my opinion definitely better than this one but also they are definitely better than the current one why is it retired well uh it's not retired because there are some pools here yes we had a cat back then so um claws are the uh, jersey's worst enemy now the other thing is uh, since i've been wearing it a little bit I've noticed that after a few washes, especially the zero, but also the one, uh, it's kind of gagging, even a little bit bubbling up and um, about to get damaged. So I decided, yeah, although I like it, I'm not gonna wear this one, uh, except I pull it out in, in a video here and there, but I'm not gonna wear this one uh, for a day or so. And if I have to wash it, it's hand wash only, despite the pulls in there just not good 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 enough it's it, it's too nice of a jersey and it's a very special jersey to me so here we are those are some of my most prized museum pieces and <laughs> the doubling up of the dutch churches i'm quite proud of uh i have to say just going back to that box here the box is not necessarily in pristine condition any, anymore because you know I, I used to have this like a coffee table book uh in my old apartment and once i spilled some food over, over it i cleaned it but you know the box outside is not in the best con con condition also gathered a lot of dust the jersey inside spotless as always but yeah jerseys that 
I don't wear anymore that I used to or that I just got and I'm not gonna wear because I wanna keep I, I wanna keep them as in a good condition as possible. Just a little view into my world. In any case, please let, let me know which jerseys you like in there. Uh, also let, let me know about your museum pieces or priced assets. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel for see more. Talk to you soon. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.